Okay, questions? Josh Richardson, obviously, we know he had some trouble scoring and shooting early, and then he shows something like this. Is this sort of what you figured would be coming and could be coming from him? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the player that looked like, uh, who looked like uh, this coming out of training camp and, and after preseason. Um, but you know what? You, you do have to credit uh, Jay Rich for his character, his competitiveness. Even while he's been uh, struggling from the field, he's been an all-NBA defender. And, and you can ask anybody that we've played, they would, they would uh, agree with that. So he hasn't let any of that affect uh, how he defends, how much effort he brings to each game. Um, but tonight it was just great to see uh, him play with that kind of passion. Um, his enthusiasm was uh, infectious to the rest of the guys. Um, and then, you know, obviously seeing the ball go through and made some big ones uh, tonight. Um, but everything he did uh, was inspirational to the rest of the guys. It's a long game, and obviously when any team gets down big early, it's not uncommon to see them come back and, and make, make runs and erase that. But for what you guys have gone through this week, to have the character to do that, what's that kind of say about where you guys are? Well, it happened so early on um, that I wasn't uh, particularly concerned. I actually liked how we started the game. Just from a, an energy standpoint, our guys were really competing at a high level. Um, we had some open looks. Um, we had some open threes that we missed wide open, um, a couple lob opportunities that were open, just we, we misconnected on it, um, that, which allowed them to get into transition and, and then we, we piled on some more missed shots. <laughs> and it, uh, it felt like it could have been 26 to two, but it was still right there in, in striking distance. Um, so our, our huddles were uh, pretty normal at that point. Let's, you know, it was more about staying with that energy, the effort of, uh, the multiple efforts, the toughness. Um, I liked all of it, even at the beginning. Eric Bam with the five rebounds, four steals, two blocks, made Dwight work. How pleased yeah. were you with yeah. that? Uh, you know, this is the prototypical old-school box score uh, that doesn't at all indicate his impact uh, tonight. Uh, he had made so many winning plays, both ends of the court. Uh, just uh, very steady. Uh, he's very disciplined to the game plan. Uh, he was able to defend with technique. It's not an easy player, obviously. You're talking about a Hall of Fame level, level player um, to be able to do it without fouling. A um, lot of energy plays. He's always in the right spot defensively, which really helps. Um, and then offensively, did a lot of things to get our guards open. You know, So they should, uh, they should buy him and Kelly dinner tonight. Eric, all four bench guys with a positive plus minus. How impactful was the bench tonight, just getting you guys back in the game? Yeah, uh, they were tremendous. I mean, they came in with incredible enthusiasm. Uh, and how it was much different from the New York game, where uh, once we got down 10, it sapped the energy of everybody, both lineups. This time, uh, the bench couldn't wait to get into this game to get their fingerprints on, on this competition. <laughs> so, I mean, they were foaming at the mouth to get in there. And that enthusiasm uh, really became contagious. Um, and it wasn't even perfect basketball. You could just feel the energy. Um, and really moving the ball, I, I think probably in the first half was the best we've moved the ball in a, in a while.